What's up, my nieces and nephews? Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Divine Feminine Oscar said, if he's on your, his way to your town, because he knows there's some karmic energies that y'all want him to pick up. So today Oscar is on his way to Tucson, Arizona. He's going to Virginia. He's going to York, Pennsylvania. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Stilton, Pennsylvania. El Paso, Texas. In Austin, Texas. These are the places where Oscar is headed today. So if you want Oscar to come to your town and pick up a karmic energy, someone that hurt you, stabbed you in the back, lied on you, someone who's jealous of you, someone who manipulated you, those are karmic energies. See, Oscar is the bounty hunter. And he's coming to your town or a town nearby. Okay, to pick up that karma. Now, collective, if you're interested in the personal readings, I am open for personal readings again for $25. If you're interested in purchasing a personal reading, inbox me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. If you're interested in, pers in um, purchasing a spiritual protection package, for $44.44, you can inbox me. <clears throat> okay. So, please keep in mind that this reading, it may trigger you, it may or may not resonate with your energy, so only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it, just relax and let that shit go. Okay. Now, I feel like somebody out there you pulled yourself away from a toxic situation. You accepted that it's over and you walked away. And the person who you walked away from, they want to come back to you. They want a second chance. And this person may be trying to do some sort of spell work or magic to get you to come back. Okay. For some of you, you walked away from this person because they could have got drunk and got somebody pregnant. They fooled around with somebody and now they're thinking about you. They're missing you, they're craving you, and they're desiring you. Okay, this person wants a second chance. And for some of you, this is your twin flame. Okay, others of you is not. But this person... They're having a sexual fantasy about you. They're fantasizing about you, okay? Some of you, they could, they could be drunk and fantasizing about trying to get you pregnant after you done walked away from them. This person is thinking about you. Mm-hmm. They don't want it to be... They, this person didn't want it to be over. They don't want it to be over. This is somebody who abandoned you in the relationship because they were toxic. Whoever this energy is, they're thinking about you, but you're not thinking about them. Okay, They're craving you, but you're not craving them because they didn't um, possibly got somebody else pregnant. Now, this pregnancy don't have to be a literal pregnancy this could be somebody starting a new beginning with somebody okay and you pulled your energy away from them you accepted that it that they started something new with somebody else and you moved on and now they want to come back they're hoping and they're expecting to come back to you they're trying to manifest you back this is somebody's twin flame and they could be doing some sort of spell work to try to bring you back
again, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. This could be somebody who you you thought you was establishing a foundation with them, um, family. You could have felt secure in this relationship or this person is hoping that you feel this way. But see, whoever this is, this energy was out chasing thrills. And I guess they expect for you to stick around. They either built another foundation with somebody else or established a foundation with somebody they got pregnant. Um, while they was drunk and you, you moved away from it. Now they want to come back and they want a second chance. This is resonating with you. Hit that thumbs up. If your person got drunk and got somebody else pregnant, hit that thumbs up. If your person got drunk and started a new beginning with somebody, Hit that thumbs up. See, now that, that, you know, you walked away from them, you pulled yourself, this person, you know, they, they see the value that you carry. They're aware now of your importance. Okay, and they want you back. They want to build a foundation with you. But even though this person wants to build a, you know uh, uh wants to come back to you they're they're not they're not gonna tell the truth they're still gonna be holding lies they have someone in their life who's um you know delaying them from coming towards you they may have now that if they was with this pregnancy and this is your divine masculine this is a karmic baby mama for somebody okay And they're not going to change. And whoever this karmic baby mama is, she's obsessing over this person. She could be clingy. Um, she could be spying on your person or spying on you. You're not thinking about this person though. Okay. See, this, this energy, your person could have been you know, um, clinging on to this other person as a distraction, you know, and they're saying one day either they're going to have you back or one day this person could be saying this. One day somebody may try to get your person drunk so they can try to get pregnant by them. One day somebody may try to do some sort of special spell work one day somebody may want a second chance with you okay this person is saying that someday somewhere another time they'll see you again okay but see you've walked away from this person your judgment is no longer clouded you're not in a distorted energy behind this person because it's finally over okay now this person they realize that they made a mistake Mm -hmm. and you killed their ego and their pride this person could run with a lot of people they could have been you know doing a lot of pretending exaggerating bluffing wearing a false ass mask of not who they really are but now that you're gone they, they, they're, you either seen this mask their mask fell off and you pulled yourself away from them because you realized that they were toxic some of you this person could have been you know exa exaggerating so much to where you burst that they bubble in some sort of way now they're, the they're, they're, they're conflicted whoever this energy is they treated you hot and cold one minute they was hot and horny and the next minute they was cold and clammy okay this person could have had you conflicted because they had multiple choices out there of the people that they were de dealing with okay now they realize that they made a mistake and they could be playing the victim role right now saying that you misunderstood something something there's a, a misunderstanding okay 
this is resonating with you, go on and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this person that the collective walked away from. Now, the overall energy is you either walked away from this person because they either got somebody pregnant or they started a new beginning with somebody else. So you accepted that it's over and you walked away. You're not lusting over them. You don't have no desires for them. The sexual energy that you carry for this person is no longer there. Now, for some of you, this person could be, you know, exaggerating on, on, how the, on the sexual energy between you and them. Some of you is driving a long distance for this person. You were exhausted, depleted, and drained. Some of you drove a distance for this person and, and they pushed you away. They avoided you and they blocked you. And you realized that this person was a false twin flame. Now they realize it. Now see, they did some sort of spell work since you, you accepted that it's over. That's what's fucked up. You accepted that it was over with this person and they want to do some spell work to bring you back. It was the reason why it was over. Okay? See, this person, when, when if they walked away from you, they thought that you was going to be unstable, going through an emotional storm, affected. But this came in reverse. You're not. This is what's happening to them. They're in tur turmoil because you pulled yourself away from their bullshit. You accepted that they had somebody else and you left. You let them say, okay, well, I hope they're happy. Let them be happy. And it's like you really walked away from this person. You could even have a child with this person. Some of you, the pregnancy may be you. Some of you could have fooled around with this person and got drunk and got pregnant. Okay? Now they're feeling hopeless. They're sinking. They falling apart in despair. This is how they thought you was going to be feeling. See, the whole thing is, they walked away from you to go towards somebody else. And you accepted that, that it's over. And you pulled, you, you withdrew your energy, you pulled back. You, you, you know, you stopped calling this person. You stopped entertaining them. You stopped wasting your time on them. If anything, you're feeling better because this person was doing nothing but draining your energy. They exhausted you. Some of you, they exhausted you because they was always drunk. Okay? And when a person is drunk, they're not in their right mind. That's a spirit. Okay? You're no longer in conflict. Incompatibility, clashing, differences. You and this person was getting into a lot of arguments. And they abandoned you. They could have, the arguments and the conflict could have been about them leaving you out in the cold, walking away from the relationship, not taking the relationship serious, which could have had you, you know, in a um, unstable energy. Could have had you falling apart. Could have had your energy, your judgment clouded. But this is what's happening to them. Now since, you know, they abandoned you and you accepted that it was over, now they're feeling left out in the cold. You're not waiting on this person no more. You're not wasting your time on this person no more, okay? You're not giving this person your time. You're not waiting on them. The cycle has ended. And they're saying to themselves, well, any moment now, the collective will be back. But this is just a fantasy of theirs, okay? You accepted that it's over, and you moved on. And now they got the nerves to be trying to do some sort of spell work or manipulation, magic towards you because you no longer you know you ex you got the truth and the clarity in this situation and you started realizing what this person's intentions were that they wasn't going to be honest with you so you started setting boundaries with them you started telling this person no you started drawing a line enough is enough 
You stop driving the distance if you was driving the distance to be with this person. You stop allowing this person to drain you and deplete you of your energy. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Now this person is hoping and expecting for you to come back after they didn't either start a new beginning with somebody. This person could be doing some sort of hex, curse, or witchcraft on you to try to get you to come back. Where they was telling people that you were shallow. Now they want a second chance. They want to make amends with you. But this is a missed opportunity. Some of you is going to give this person a second chance. Some of you not. Some of you is going to give this person a second chance after this separation. You may have blocked them right now. But if some of you out there, you're, you're going to give this person a second chance. Okay. You just got them blocked for, for now. Some of you, it's, 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 it's a, fin a finality. The grand finale is over. But for some of you, you're, you take, you're going to take this person back. Okay. It's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Yeah, this is this is somebody's divine masculine. He came in reverse. He could be falling out on the flow. In a dark energy, he could be negative. And for some of you, this is a certified masculine that's drunk. Okay? But he was dishonest with you. There was a lot of deception when it came to this divine masculine. So you distance yourself from him. He allowed someone to come in between you and his relationship. And the, the roles can be reversed. If I'm saying he, it could be she. This could be a divine feminine or a divine masculine. You just take look at the energies, okay? When you was with this person, you couldn't find yourself. You couldn't focus on yourself. You weren't growing. You weren't nourishing yourself, taking care of yourself. That's because this person was in your life to stunt your growth. So you distance yourself from them. And they're bitter. And they're mad. They're angry. They could have said some hurtful words from, for you. For you to walk away from them. Some of you, this person could have a gambling addiction. You could have walked away because they have a gambling addiction. They spent all of their money gambling. For some of you, you was driving a distance for this person. I mean, getting on the freeway, driving a distance. For some of you, this person told a web of lies on you. For some of you out there, this person, they, they're waiting for you to come back. Even though you're saying it's finally over, they're waiting. Okay, some of you they 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 give it up, but you got the truth and the clarity about this person, and you ended it with them. You left them out. Now they're feeling left out in the cold because you walked away from them, and they're feeling hopeless. They're falling apart. Mm-hmm. And some of you, you know, it's like you walked away because you got the truth about this person, but it didn't come from them. Some of you could have uh, got the truth with by using a camera. Somebody could have showed you some pictures or sent you some pictures of them and somebody else. Okay. But you're no longer, you know, chasing this person. You're no longer clinging to this person. There's no more conflict in your life since you walked away from this person and this person, you know, is upset. They angry. And they could have said some hurtful words to you, so you distance yourself from them. This is somebody who had you, you know, in conflict, hoping and expecting for them to do right by you. This person was sent into your life because you, being a master manifester, you have the tools, the sources, and the energy that you need to make your dreams come true. Seriously, everything right in front of you, you have at your fingertips. Okay? You have the spiritual, physical, 
mental and emotional resources to manifest your desires. And when you combine those energies with the energy of, of spiritual and earthly realms, you will become a manifestation powerhouse. Put it in the comments. If you are manifesting a manifestation powerhouse, put it in the comments. When you're going through a tough, difficult time, the sun brings you the message that you've been waiting for. That things will get better. Through the challenges along your path, you discover who you are and why you're here. Now you're full of energy, zeal for the future, and can be already perceived, you know, success and abundance that's flowing to you. You're brimming with confidence because you know everything will work out. It always does. And this has been happening. Good things has been happening to you since you walked away from this person. Good things started happening to you when they abandoned you. Okay? And now they're bitter. Because you have a renewed hope and faith. And you have a sense that you're truly blessed by the universe. And you're entering a peaceful and loving phase in your life filled with calm energy, mental stability, and more in-depth understanding of both yourself and others around you. Mm -hmm. You're the star. Okay? You're standing out. So if this reading resonated with you, go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next reading. Alright? And if you're interested in a personal reading or, or purchasing a spiritual protection package from me, the information is in the description box below this video. Alright? And I'll see you in the next reading. Auntie, love you. Peace out.